Alright, welcome back everybody. So this week we're going to look at an oil base primer, the Zinser uh, Cover Stain. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so we're going to look at the water resistance on this Cover Stain product. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other ones. I'm going to put this on here. Um, cup on it and then we're just gonna see how long it takes to evaporate out um, now our shellac was within a 12 hour period and our vinyl sealer was the longest so we're gonna see if this will go over 36 hours um, on this one all right all right so here we have the water that was on the panel and it was probably on there for roughly uh 26 28 30 some hours somewhere in there um so probably a little bit better than um the shellac and the um i guess just like a self water based seal so i'm gonna see if this stained it or if it comes off so yeah that came right off so that's good now if you remember of course it wasn't uh we didn't test it under the pigmented but on the clear sealers um it left a, a noticeable ring but i'm not seeing that here on this all right so next um let's let's take a look at the adhesion on it okay so just like before um i did my cross hatch and um i switched over here to using packing tape so we're gonna try the packing tape just because you guys can probably see it a little bit better so now this is on the uh, UV plywood with a 150 scratch on it. All right, um, excellent adhesion, very good. Um, not really getting anything on the sanded. Let's look, look at the unsanded. <clears throat> All right, excellent on that. Um, so I would actually say, um, now I did let this cure. Um, I would actually say that this on this oil base, probably better adhesion than the shellac and the vinyl sealer. Um, actually, uh, this is more almost like getting to the, um, uh, poly primer. So the adhesion on this oil is, uh, very, very good. Now let's look at the mar resistance on it. All right, so we're just denting the wood there. And then let's look at it on the sanded side. All right, so yeah, um, that, is, that is much better than what we saw with the um, vinyl sealer and um, the shellac and some of the other ones looked at. So I would say that the adhesion of this cover stain oil is um, a lot, a lot better. All right. So All right, so we'll look at the chemical resistance. Let's go with uh, denatured alcohol. And I have to let that flash off, but I didn't really, I got a little bit on here, but uh, not too bad. All right, let's take a look at the acetone. All right, and lacquer thinner. About the same as the acetone. Um, so it's really hard to see because we're on a white background, but um, you know, it did mar the finish, but not near what we saw with the other, um, other products. Now, um, so I would say that this is probably going to land under the poly primer as far as um, how good it is. Now, so this side, we're looking at the bleed through test. Um, you can see a little bit out in here, but it's pretty much as good as the vinyl sealer um, as far as bleed is um, concerned. So um, I'm actually really impressed with this product. Now, my only issue is with it is the dry times are longer. Um, you know, you're looking at two, uh, I think I was, 
I was like three to four hours before I could really sand this and move on coatings. And also, it takes a lot longer for this coating to get hard. I think this has been setting for three weeks now um, before I did the test. Now, with the other ones, I did the test within a week's time. But I don't think it would have changed the outcomes um, that much. So let's let's look at let let me give you my final thoughts um, on this product. All right. So what's my final thoughts on the Zinsser Cover Stain? Well, actually, I was pretty impressed um, with this product. Um, I think my only issue from a production standpoint is it's the slower dry times. But I will have to be honest and say that um, it's probably. Um, would be from what I've tested so far underneath the uh, poly primer. So I would say poly primer, uh, the oil based primer, and then I would say the um, vinyl sealer, and then everything else kind of falls underneath there, plus or minuses with it. Um, will I switch to using an oil? Probably not, just because of the dry times. You know, uh, you're looking at. And it depends on whether it was like 72 uh, or 3 I had the shop cranked up to. And it took about 3 or 4 hours before I could even sand it. So now I did reduce it a little bit, um, which is something that, you know, if you're shooting a turbine or something like that, you know, you're going to have to reduce it out. If you're using an air-assisted airless or an airless, um, you can probably shoot it straight up. Um, now it's been a long time since I've shot oils, but... You know, I'm, I'm seeing a lot more pop up on Instagram. Like a lot of guys are really um, digging the uh, fine um, paints from Europe. I, I think I said that right. And it's a lot of it's oil based stuff. Seems to be really good stuff. Um, so, you know, look, guys, this is a, is a legitimate option if you're doing refinishing. Um, and it's a really great option. I'll have to say that um, it's really up there if you can deal with the dry times, which is kind of the same problem I had with the poly primer. Um, now the smell for the oil primer, I mean, it's, it's oil. I, I, you know, I don't really like the smell of oil and it lingers a lot longer than a shellac or even a vinyl sealer. Um, what I'm going to do is some guys have asked me about the Benjamin Moore advanced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this panel, um, uh, and, uh, scuff it. And then I'm going to shoot the Benjamin Moore advanced two coats over the top of it. Now it's going to be a while because Again, it's it's a water base, but it's an alkyd water base. And if you look at the data sheets, it really says that it takes 30 days for it to fully cure. Now, a lot of guys um, with the 30 day thing, they think that's with everything. Not necessarily. Um, it is with oil based stuff, but a lot of your lacquers, like a nitrocellulose lacquer, would be the same. But a lot of your water bases within five to seven days it's about as hard as it's going to get. It's kind of like concrete, and then it just slowly and slowly gets harder and harder. Um, you've got the time, and your clients are willing to wait, and you can explain to them that it's better. I, mean, I think it's a great um, viable choice. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want the notifications. And you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook, at Eric Reason. We will catch you next week. All right.